Welcome. Dr. Mandela here. Boy, do I have a lot to tell you about cereal. You may love me or you may not. Just kidding. The information I'm going to share with you is really going to help you, your loved ones, spread the word. Please listen to the end if all possible. There are three things that cereal does to us. Number one, it promotes fast carbohydrate metabolism. So that means when we eat cereal, our glucose levels spike up and then they fall down. But what happens is those carbs, which are mostly in cereals, you'll be surprised, which I'll show you in just a minute or so, all those excessive carbs and sugars gets converted into glucose. And glucose will obviously try to get into the cells or try to burn right away or if it can't get into the cells and be stored as glycogen, it's going to get stored as fat. So if we are sedentary, we're spending lots of time sitting down and we're eating lots of carbs, they got to go somewhere. Eventually, we're going to burn them. They had to get stored or it's going to get turned into fat. And that's why there's so much obesity is from too many carbs. Number two, processed cereals increase food cravings. So when we get that spike running up with our glucose and our insulin and that fall, that affects physiological changes in the brain with specific hormones that's going to make you crave more sugar. Now, most cereals have many servings in it. So we're eating a quarter of the cereal box, a half of the cereal box. Or you may be waking up in the middle of the night uh, or just, you know, just want to crave as a snack, but you're eating much more than one serving. So when you look at one serving, you got to multiply that by two or three or four by the amount of calories you're eating, those sugars. And three, cereals, most of them lack fat and proteins, particularly healthy ones. And a little tip while I'm on that is that there are things that you can do. Number one, which I'm going to show you uh, what cereals look like and I'll explain a little bit more so I can educate you. But there are things you can add like eggs are excellent for breakfast. Uh, kale, spinach, coconut, even butters, uh, avocados, uh, berries are excellent. Chia seeds, cinnamon, spices, hemp seeds, uh, almond butters. There are so many different things. Yogurts, Greek yogurts, all these are really good because the fat and the protein is sati gives you that satiety feeling. It makes you feel satiated. It makes you feel full. And the biggest problem with cereals is that we continue to overeat them and those excess, excess of carbs is putting a burden on our system. Remember, excessive inflammation leads to many different diseases in our body. Type 2 uh, uh, diabetes, insulin resistant, obesity. It affects us cardiovascular. The excess fat can form clogging or, you know, within the arteries. Uh, it can lead to autoimmune problems, IBS problems. I can talk for an hour about the different problems, but it is inflammatory and you must understand that. Okay. So what I did here, I took four different ingredients from four different boxes. Now, if I showed you some of these cereals that you're eating, you are really going to flip, but again, for just being uh, kind to these companies, I don't want to knock them in any way whatsoever. This is what I want to do. I want to educate you so you can read these ingredients. Now, look at number one, whole wheat. All that stuff that most people are eating is enriched. Uh, sugar, glucose, fructose, all sugars, uh, malt barley. Uh, look what's in that number one. Number two, I'm going to move through this real quick. Uh Salt, rice flour, syrup, more sugar, sucralose, no good for you. All those uh, artificial ingredients. And you can see how they're adding back in those nutrients because anytime you see those vitamins and minerals in there is because they stripped them out. They got to put them back in. Look at number three, enriched flour. It's enriched. Uh, this is how the majority of the, the, the cereals are out there just like this. Corn syrup, sugar, sugar. Uh, corn syrup, solids, dextrose, more sugar, high fructose, more sugar. Uh, it's really, really dangerous. And number four, whole grain oats, sugar, oat bran, cornstarch, honey, uh, brown sugar syrup, and the list goes on. Now, anytime you look at the ingredients, the first couple of ingredients is or are the most common things that's in those ingredients. So if you see sugar at the beginning, of the ingredients, you know it is quite dangerous and it's loaded with sugar. There's no question that many of the breakfast cereals that you see in the aisles every time you go shopping, even though they're colorful and they look healthy and they're saying fortified with these vitamins, believe it or not, 
they have more sugar than many different cookies and desserts. Now, a very important thing about cereals are the fiber that keeps you full, keeps you satiated. And it's really good for your gut health because they are prebiotics. They feed the probiotics in your gut. So when you're having excessive sugars, they're feeding the bad, the poor bacteria in your gut, which can lead to like candida, people who have uh, yeast infections, particularly females. Uh, this is from too much sugar. And if you're having any symptoms, you need it to be weird because sugar will definitely lead to that. Now, the adult recommended amount of fiber is generally about 25, 30 grams a day. Uh, we're only getting typically 10 to 15 grams of fiber, which leads to constipation and intestinal problems. When you stop eating the cereal, all those extra carbs, the first thing you notice is that your thinking will be so much clearer. A study published in Molecular Neurobiology found a link between sugar consumption and negative changes in the brain's frontal cortex. And those changes were associated with additional cognitive problems. So if you really wanna stay sharp, you need to cut back on those carbs. There's no doubt that excessive sugar puts a burden on the pancreas, which can lead to type two diabetes as well as insulin resistant. Now it is obvious that too much cereal is too many carbs. As we said, if it doesn't have anywhere to go, it's gonna eventually turn into fat. So look at your belly. It can eventually lead to visceral fat around the gut, which is not healthy, which can lead to metabolic syndrome. So if you are gaining lots of weight, look back at what you're doing. If you're eating that excessive carbs from those cereals, it is going to cause lots of problems. As I said before, sugar is extremely inflammatory. And this inflammation shows a direct link to skin conditions like acne, pimples, rashes, or even blemishes. Now your gut, a big part of the microbiome in your body, affects your immune system. Sugar will cause inflammation, causing a weakened immune system, making you get sick more often. So if you're getting colds more often, your resistance is down, or even problems you're feeling where you're just not healing right, that can be from too much sugar. And too much cereal can definitely speed up the aging of your skin. And what about your teeth? This will eventually lead to more cavities, more tooth decay, as well as more gum problems. And I can't tell you how many millions, that's right, millions of people worldwide have problems with insomnia, difficulty sleeping, difficulty staying asleep. Remember, sugar will affect your sleep. It affects hormones. Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, what do I eat? I don't wanna go keto. I don't wanna cut out all my sugar. Eat your fruits and vegetables, your natural sugars that's in the whole state. It has all the vitamins, the minerals, and the enzymes. It has the fiber. The key is you want fiber with your food. It slows down the absorption of glucose, and it puts less of a burden on your pancreas that secretes insulin, which helps it sustain normal balance over a period of time. And I also want to mention that all that excessive sugar from those cereals affects your heart. Remember, the hormone is insulin. It raises insulin levels. And this activates the sympathetic nervous system. What does it do? It increases your blood pressure. It increases your heart rate. And unfortunately, that excessive fat, as well as the inflammation, can cause more clogging of the arteries because it raises your bad cholesterol, your LDLs, as well as your triglycerides. And I also want you to know that higher intakes of those cereals, those carbs and sugars, leads to more depression, more anxiety, as well as other mental health issues. And the research shows that this can also cause inflammation in the brain that's triggered by these sugars, higher glycemic index. And lastly, which is probably one of the biggest things that everyone needs is weight loss. And if you want to lose weight, you cannot continue to eat those processed and refined cereals. It will not work. You must go back to the natural foods, as we say, the vegetables, the fruits, the whole grains, your fatty fishes, your avocados, uh, your natural fats, your peanuts, different nuts and seeds. They're so good for your body. They'll keep you more satiated. You will start to burn more fat. But again, you must eat a well-balanced diet, exercise, get your sleep, maintain your stress levels, hydrate and you will see such great results. But please share this video 
with your friends, your family, your children, your grandchildren, it's something that will really make a huge difference for them, I promise you. Remember, this world is about propaganda. It's about selling things, about the colors and the words and advertising. This is your life. This is your health. I want to see you stay healthy and live a long, long life. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Leave your comments below because I'm sure there'll be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.